Today's parenting SOS uh, segment, we're looking into the dangers of acidic water. So which is better, bottled water or tap water? We have Melissa Wages, pediatric dentist at Southwest Portland Pediatrics Dentistry to show us. And you brought a lot of colorful yeah, examples. Absolutely. Science experiment. Beautiful, <laughs> fun stuff. Well, you would think that all um, waters are created equal. However, you can see that they're not. Um, I do recommend to my parents of my patients that water is a primary beverage source. However, However, uh, when we look at bottled waters, the actual process of bottling the water and purifying it for bottling creates an acidic environment. And so your typical waters here, these ones in the middle with the nice yellow color, yes. is about a pH of six. Uh, neutral pH is seven. Our pH scale is a logarithmic scale. You tell me the process of bottling <laughs> this makes it harmful not harmful but not as healthy. more acidic exactly and, what does and it really do for so um a more the more acidic a um bottled water is or the more acidic a beverage is the more minerals it leaches out from our teeth and so it actually oh. weakens the enamel and predisposes them to the cavity process now, pure water misleading then <laughs> right okay. now well, some waters to circumvent they're not all the this, same exactly right. some waters have ph balanced and it will say on the water bottle if it has ph balanced it's water so we should look for that Okay. Exactly. The other thing I would really like to point out is that this is good old plain tap water right here. Look at that nice, beautiful green, nice pH Ooh, in there. And as I can see on this chart, that is a neutral level. So exactly. That's... And so when we think about the bottling process, you know, there's BPAs mm. in bottled waters that many people try to avoid. Um, in addition, the environmental impact, you know, we're in uh, Earth Week this week. Mm -hmm. And so we have the environmental impact of bottled waters. So overall, okay. tap water is going to be our winner. So and look at... Time out just for a second. What, what yeah. about... Chlorine factor, I shouldn't worry about that in terms of my you, health you, out of the tap? Uh, you can always filter using a standard Brita and it won't affect the pH at all. Okay. Yeah, all right. so filtered filtered water straight out of the tap water. I carry my water bottle with me around all the time. This is wow. making me cringe right now. Yes, this absolutely. Color down that, here. that orange, this is, a, this is tap water that I've run through an at-home carbonator. Well, okay. the carbonator is carbonic acid. And so you can see that nice bright orange is the result. It's just plain tap water, but then you carbonate it. And it looked happens. like Sprite. I made it look like Sprite. <laughs> yeah, you did a little test. What's this over so here? So we have Gatorade. It's a colored liquid, so I couldn't use my droppers, but I did a pH test, and you can see it's got a nice bright orange, yeah. and that's a result of the citric acid that's added for flavor. And a lot of sugar. My dentist says this is the worst thing you can drink. It has definitely has a lot of sugar, okay. and you can see the acid. The sugar in the acid is a double whammy. Now, um, I would like to point out this is uh, just a, the Gatorade version of a uh, non-sweetened, non-artificially flavored uh, water with a electrolytes mm -hmm. added back in if you're concerned about that when your kids okay. are out playing sports and whatnot. And that's a good one. And it's got a nice dark, dark green pH there. So, so. Propel, good product, the water anyway. The, well, okay. that version. This version. Right. Right. So basically, Some Propel has artificial sweeteners and I'm negative on those too. So Melissa, okay. if you like bottled water, just yes. make sure to check for that pH indication. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. I yeah. feel like the, the American public has been wrong. Well, and you know, we're coming right back to tap water. All right, Melissa Wages, thank you so thank much. You. We're going to send it over to Kathy before Rod makes any other bad comments. <laughs>